What's up guys? It's Gorilla Geek. And out there in the field, I guess we have some problems with uh, this new TYT UVF1 Chinese made uh, transceiver here, dual bander. I've gotten many emails and PMs and comments and stuff about some other models of this particular brand. Actually, it's the same model as this, the UVF1, but it has different firmware meaning that they both look the same have the same guts but the factory or the dealer has changed the internal programming the firmware to make this act somewhat different than, than all the others they're not they're not all made the same uh, this is something that is done so the same radio could be used in the European market so because they have different laws different operating bands and stuff like that where where the user or the dealer or whoever will, will block out some functions that are not allowed to be done in that particular region so they put these blocks in these radios they, they enable and disable via firmware or software these functions uh, blocked out by the manufacturer or the dealer or whatever but here it goes first of all you start off with the radio off while pressing menu, you turn it on again. You're gonna set. You're gonna see reset. So power, power on while pressing menu. Number two, press menu then up two times. Turn on the radio while pressing menu at the same time. Reset will show. Release menu press menu again once you'll see VFO press the up button twice one two it says aging on the European version or the older handband version is going to say something else press enter password supposedly the password is 5858 so press menu input password 5858 I'm going to have to do it twice because after a while it kicks you out. Turn on, menu, one, two, up, menu again, password, 5858. After it does that, it should show band 1, and band 1 shows 144 to 146. On my radio, it's blocked out. That password doesn't work on this radio, so I cannot manually change the band uh, frequencies on this I would have to use the uh, software or some other method it doesn't matter because everything is opened up on this radio so I don't, I don't really need to do that but on yours possibly when you get to that point on step 3 here you press menu input 136174 and that represents 136 megahertz to 174 megahertz in the VHF mode. Press menu to enter and that would open up your VHF frequencies between those two uh, limits. Uh, I believe when you when you press on this on this on step number three when you enter the password you'll see band one if you press the up button on that on that step you'll see band 2 and band 2 is the UHF band and then you would have to input uh, 400 470 in a single line so it's 400470 press menu to enter and that will open up the uh, band for UHF so you're gonna have to do this twice and that's how you would open up your radio uh, manually I cannot demonstrate it because they changed the password on this and the firmware is different to where uh, it says something else it's not following what what's stated on on web um, blogs and stuff like that out there in the field so uh, but there's another way that you could do this now it's a good idea to have a programming cable and the software to program your radio via a laptop or a PC or whatever and uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, 
a guerrilla way of uh, changing the uh, the uh, capabilities of your radio. I found it on the website. I can't really take 100% uh, credit for it, but uh, at least I could put it in one single source here that you could see and 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 follow what's going on to have this thing changed. Uh, disclaimer: You're going to go into the firmware or the software of the radio to change its setting and, and you're going to use unconventional ways of doing that. This may lock up your radio for good. Uh, I don't think it will. Don't take my word for it. I'm just warning you. If it, if it happens to you, I don't want to hear it. Do not PM me. Just, just take it like a man and buy yourself another radio. That's all I got to say. I don't want to hear your complaints because I am giving you fair warning. All right, enough said. Anyway, uh, to continue on this British website, this blog site, uh, I guess they're really into these uh, Chinese-made radios more so than, than we are here in the United States. But uh, they came up with a, a few ways of, of making that change of the bands of this radio here. And I'm going to leave a link down in the comments uh, so you can read the whole uh, dialogue that took place. So I did what they recommended, except for the manual part of it, because my radio is blocked. I cannot do it that way, but there is another way. So uh, I got my original program that, that I came with the uh, software, or that came with the radio itself, from the dealer that works with this radio. And that software opens up this radio pretty good and, and it has all the other features and everything. So before you do anything, read your radio and save that file on, 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 on file here. So you'll have somewhere to go back to, a known good file. Uh, that you should always do that before you start mucking around in there and changing configurations and then get lost in. And that just avoids a whole lot of problems. So on the website, uh, you're going to download this file here. It's called LTUV and uh, it comes in a zip file and it goes to this one website that I guess shares files and everything. I, I did it to my bullshit laptop here. I don't care if it has viruses or whatever. It's not going to hurt a thing. But uh, it seems to be working okay. So I could somewhat vouch for it. Remember, you take responsibility of your own shit. Don't blame me if, if things get locked up. But in my case, it worked. Uh, so I got my original program, configuration program, that, that came with this thing here. And I also have that program, and, and I can load them both onto the same laptop I can, and, and to work it. So here's the program, and it looks just like the other one. It, it's similar, they're not the same. So uh, what you want to do is, you want to read your radio. I'm going to turn on my radio here. I'm going to change the ports, the communication ports, because it wants to default to port number one. I changed mine to port number four for the USB uh, connector there. I'm going to go ahead and read the radio. Uh, okay. And it's reading, so it's communicating. That's first step number number one. Read your radio. So along with the installation program of this program here, you're also going to get another file, a, uh, a uh, notepad file here. You open that up and on it, it's a document, a password to convert that file that, that you just downloaded into a dealer version of it. it. So it opens up another configuration page where you could change that band. Uh, you could also tune this radio as far as increasing your voice modulation and stuff like that. This software would also do that as well. Even though it's supposedly made for another version of the TYT radio or another manufacturer, but you know what, these, these Chinese, they're, they're somewhat lazy. They're using the same programs to, to, to sort of uh, crossbreed, if, if you will. So I'm using a, a program from another radio, another model that looks just like this one, but I'm able to somewhat hack into it using that other program. So here's the uh, password, 100020 there. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
copy. And I'm going to close this file here. And I'm back to my config configuration file. So I copied what was in there already. So this is my, my bullshit test frequencies and stuff like that that I used to demonstrate in one of my other videos. And you go over to edit. And you'll see advance. And login password. That password that was on that other file, that's where you input it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it on there. And OK. And what that does is it opens up that configuration page. And there's the band. Remember, I locked it up to do the United States handband frequencies only 144 to 148. And this is where you change that. Band 1 does the VHF version, and Band 2 does the UHF version. So I just come up here, double click on that. Or well, actually, you know. Uh, so it's designed to do 130. What the hell is it? 136 megahertz, all the way up to uh, 174. 174. Enter. Uh, you press apply down here in the bottom. Uh, save it to the database. Yeah, you close this window, and, and it brings you right back out to your configuration page. And remember, you copied everything on this radio from the get-go, so all the configuration is 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 loaded up to the page here. You just went into it to change the band. So what you want to do now is write to the radio the whole thing. So here it is, right? Gonna give you a warning pretty soon. Frequency range has been changed. Go on. Hell yeah. And it's dumping that information back into your radio along with the changes. I think this is the easiest way to, to modify this radio. But you take your risks. Okay. Press OK. Turn off my radio. Unplug it. And I have my scanner there for Muir's number two, I think that is. I'm not, not too sure which one that is. It's one of the Muir's channels. Turn on my radio. I still got the same configuration as before. So I'm going to go ahead and input that frequency. 151.88. And that frequency nestles in between the uh, public safety frequencies. And look, I entered and it's stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and transmit. Booyah! Let me increase the volume here. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Good to go. I just expanded the uh, frequency range of this radio via software using that other program and it works. Uh, I guess that's how you would do it if, if, if the manual way of doing it doesn't work for you. With me, it didn't. So, I, so uh, I did it another way, and it opened it up. And then you could go back to your original program, configuration program that came with this radio, and and make the changes that you need to do. It may or may not put back that block into this radio again. It may or may not do that. Uh, but uh, you just could go back here to this frequency and open it back up on open it back up again and dump it in there and open it up again so I'll see you, that's how you do it how to modify this TYT radio into doing all the bands all right guys take it easy gorilla geek going 1010.